Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 419 899 2020, and myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2006 Road Trek 190 Popular 4x4 with 70,348 miles. All right, folks, here we are inside of this 2006 Road Trek 190 Popular 4x4. Yep, you heard that right. This is a four-wheel drive road trek. As usual, we're going to start in the front, work our way towards the rear, try to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. A little bit about us here at Coon Truck and RV. We are a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976, started by Levi and I's mom and dad. Today we specialize in hard-to-find small motorhomes like road treks, pleasure ways, and the like. Got very nice leather seats up front on this one. We've also got the 4x4 shifter on the floor here right by the driver's seat. That is a factory 4x4 conversion by Quigley. These 4x4 road treks are very hard to come by. This is only the third one we've had in all of our years of doing this. We do like to name our RVs when they call for us to do so. The last 4x4 road check we had was the Mountain Mama. We decided to call this one the Miner's Lady. We thought it was fitting for this adventurous road trek. And Levi and I like those John Denver names for West Virginia as our mom was born and raised there. Got a small, small blemish on the leather on the passenger seat here. These front seats do swivel, so you can make a bed here to sleep a third person if you swivel this seat. These, this chair here will come out to connect with that, so the back and the bottom will, will come out here to fill in the blank there to give you that third bed. Up here, we've got your levels test. So push and hold that, it'll tell you how much is in your propane tank. You do have an, uh, an inside or a winter tank is what they call it on road treks. Um, that's a small tank that will give you some fresh water inside of the RV for colder weather traveling. Um, so that's your fresh one and fresh two, as well as your holding, which is your black and your gray, which is your sink and shower. We've also got your coach battery on the far right. The water pump on off will turn on and off the water pump that will pump the water out of the onboard water tank. And we've also got your coach battery disconnect here that will turn on and off the coach battery. That will also disconnect your charging systems from that coach battery that charges through the shore power cord, through the alternator while you're driving, and also from the generator. We've got a light for the uh, porch light, porch light switch here on off. We've got the Onan generator start stop switch for the Onan 2800 generator. That has 127 hours. It is freshly serviced by our certified owning technicians. It also has a fresh oil change. Flipping around to the driver's side, we'll show you some of the storage. Here in the road checks, they do a great job of putting storage anywhere they can. In these small B vans, that is very important. We do have a table up here. So that's the diamond style or square style road trek table that has these panels that flip out. A couple of table legs. We've got the mount for the table up front here. Here in the kitchen, we do have a standard RV countertop. We've got an aluminum backsplash. We've got some storage up overhead. We'll take a peek at that. We've got a standard microwave on this one that will run on the shore power or the generator. We've got a 110 outlet here, as well as your water heater on off switch. The water heater runs off of propane. It also uses a little bit of 12 volt from your coach battery to keep that flame going. So if the coach battery runs dead, you will not be able to use the water heater. You can start the engine and charge the coach battery from that if you needed to. We've got a two burner Suburban cooktop here. That's a propane cooktop. Down below, got some more storage. As well as a drawer here. We'll check out this two-way Dometic fridge freezer. So the freezer portion is in the top and you've got the rest that is the refrigerator. 
This is a two-way, meaning that runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator, as well as propane gas. Here in the center aisle, we do have the shower basin here, so the drain is inside of this trench. Basically, the water is going to gather in this portion. It's going to run down into this trench drain. So your shower is opposite the kitchen here inside of this door. We'll check that out quick. So the shower curtain will go around the track in the top here. You do have a fantastic fan overhead that runs on 12 volts, so your coach batteries. You can use that as a, an exhaust fan while you're showering. Also like an attic fan in this coach to act kind of like an AC if you have the windows open to bring in the outside air. So we've got your shower there, your toilet. We do have some doors here that will flip out to give you some privacy. So you can take these doors, flip them out to block off the front. You've also got a similar block on this one here. Well, this portion will come out to also block off the viewers from the rear. This is the popular floor plan. So this is designed to sleep two people front to back like so. You can make up the full bed right here using the couch cushions that are the back rests on this part of the uh, couch area back here. So you can make this bed up to be one full bed or a lot of people like to sleep one person here, one person here. Your head would be back here to give you some more headroom and then you can swing your legs out at night so that way you can get out easily without crawling over one, one ugh, each other to be able to access the toilet. We do have some lap belts in the rear here, as well as another table mount. We've got a noxious gas detector. Got your inside winter tank there, so that's one of your water tanks inside of that compartment. We've also got some storage here that can be accessed um, through the rear doors. If you open the back doors on the unit, you can access that bin. Got your fuse panel down below, another table mount, as well as the propane furnace. Also got another access to some plumbing and your water heater here. Up here above the dinette in the rear, we've got a Cool Cat heat pump AC. So that has an AC in it that will power off of your shore power, so your plug-in or your generator only. It also has the heat pump. That heat pump will work off of electricity, so your shore power plug-in or your generator that will provide heat around 40 degrees and above. Um, if it's below 40 degrees, you will have to use the onboard propane furnace for heat. We've also got some storage bins here. As well as some storage here behind the TV next to the kitchen. Got your DVD player down on the bottom there. Here we are sitting in the bed at the rear of the road trek. How do you confuse a coal miner? Show him a row of shovels and tell him to take his pick. We've got a TV on a swivel mount here, so this TV will swivel out to face the front. The driver and passenger chairs both swivel. The driver's chair does not get as good of a position due to the four-wheel drive shifter, the steering wheel, and this cabinet being in the way, but the passenger chair can swivel all the way around and you could watch the TV from the front. We've got a noxious gas detector up underneath there. We've got windows that open in the rear. So there's a screened portion on the lower here. This will open up. You can get a good cross breeze in the rear. You could use the attic fan, or excuse me, the fantastic fan like an, an attic fan to get some good cool air coming in here. We've got a cup holder, a 110 outlet, as well as a reading light. Flipping over to the passenger side here, we've got another reading light, as well as the thermostat that controls the onboard propane furnace, as well as the overhead Cool Cat AC and heat pump. We've got another reading light, as well as a cup holder, and then this other window that opens on the lower portion back here in the couch. Those cushions you're seeing here are the cushions that you would use to make up the big bed area here. There is another table beneath the cushions where I'm sitting. So you could put another table, it's just a larger rectangle table that could go right here. We're like your favorite umpire here at Coon Truck and RV. We call them like we see them. I'm gonna call this RV a 9.5 out of 10. This is a beautiful unit. Very minimal blemishes inside and out, very clean throughout. 
The Miner's Lady here does have the independent suspension four-wheel drive in the front that's opposed to the straight axle style. So the straight axle style is a little beefier perhaps, um, but also rides a little more like a lumber wagon. So this Road Trek will have a much better ride and can certainly handle just about anything you can throw at it. Go out and find some gold today in the Miner's Lady. It's ready to hit the road. We've got your TV antenna crank there on the ceiling. Ready to make some memories that are worth more than gold. It's gone through our full inspection, ready to hit the highway. Check out the Miner's Lady at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. We do have a little blemish on the carpet here going up into the front area. And also the manuals in the back of the seat there. Up in the cabin area here, we do have some storage up here as well as in these rails. Got a storage compartment here up above the driver and passenger seats, as well as some more storage inside of this rail here. Got the privacy curtain that goes all the way around the front. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Very clean seats on this one. Clean carpet, no funny stains, smells, anything of that nature. This RV does appear to be a non-smoker, although we don't like to say that for sure because you can never really tell. Um, but there are no funny smells or stains. Again, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, CD player. All right, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2006 Road Trek 190 Popular 4x4. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper. It has an 11 foot awning and brand new tires. This RV is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis with a Vortec six liter V8 engine with around 70,348 miles. The paint is in excellent condition on this unit. Stripes are in excellent condition. Very, very clean on the outside. We've got your coach battery compartment here as well as your furnace exhaust. Go ahead and check out that coach battery. We do load test all of our batteries here. If they fail, those are replaced with new batteries. Got nice rims on this one too. Just a good looking RV all around. Coming around to the rear, we've got a tow package on this one. Full size spare. The built in propane tank is behind this plastic panel. We've got two rear doors that open on this one. You'll have to drop down the tire on the left to open the door that is on the left side there. Coming around to the driver's side, we've got your fuel fill that will fill the onboard tank that will run the engine as well as the generator. The generator has a safety where that will stop running around a quarter tank. That way it's not possible to run yourself out of fuel. We've got the generator exhaust down there for the Onan 2800 generator. It's got a fresh service and oil change by our certified Onan techs. We've got the back of your water heater, the back of your fridge. We've got a compartment here that has the outside shower as well as the city water connection and a little port here to run the power cord out. So you've got your 30 amp power cord here that's built into the RV. Also got a little storage compartment there. And up front here, we do have a macerator pump on this one. So you'll open the gates there and you'll push the button to pump the waste out of the gray and black water tanks through this tube. Again, the paint is in very good shape. Both sides, a beautiful coach inside and out. If you've been following our channel, you may have heard about the unexpected passing of Moby, my wife Samantha, and I's beloved cat. I'd like to say thanks to these two again for their incredibly kind and moving portrait of Moby that is cherished daily. And I'd also like to officially welcome our new rescue, Merlin, to the Coon family. He was a lone kitten at the shelter just like Moby was, and his kitten energy is reminding us every day that you do not find the happy life, you make it.